Dresden, the capital of Saxony, is home of the Future Factory Initiative of SAP Research. Here, the team of SAP researchers develop and test innovations for the factory of the future. The results will not only bring benefits to companies and the factory floor, but also to everyday life. One example, a minor household catastrophe. Without a turning knob, Daniela can't start her dishwasher. To order a new pot will take time. For Daniela, this means doing the dishes herself. The Future Factory Initiative can provide a solution to this problem. With her cell phone, Daniela takes a picture of the barcode of the dishwasher and the turning knob. Her cell phone recognizes product and manufacturer. Now she can order the spare part. This may still be a future vision. Not so for AlphaCam, a company based near Stuttgart, which specializes in building plastic parts with 3D printers. For instance, for the automobile industry, medical or household purposes. Like the turning knob, computer and machine are linked so that the part can be produced directly. Right now you see the additive fabrication process in the machine. That means that the part is built slice by slice and you see a prepared part in my hand and it is right now in the stage at this height. A production process which offers decisive advantages. Manufacturers save storage costs and a small server can replace huge production facilities. Now the newly produced part can be sent, still warm off the printer, back to the owner of the dishwasher. A future vision which is continued 100 kilometers further south. Kaba GmbH in Fillingen, Schwenningen specializes in time recording and production data acquisition. The production floor is full of highly sensitive machines. For Gunnar Rassmann, however, the most important device could be his iPhone. During work hours, it is directly connected to the machines. In case of a machine failure, Gunnar Rassmann will be alerted immediately. The iPhone shows the responsible technicians and calls them automatically. This is high-speed troubleshooting. In the future, the iPhone will even be able to help avoid unnecessary machine breakdown. We have an optimal connection between our devices, our systems and SAP, and we want to maintain this, and therefore we spend lots of effort and research to harmonize our development with the development of SAP. Two examples from the factory keeping the team of SAP research in Dresden busy. Jochen Rode and his colleagues from the Future Factory Lab are working together with companies like AlphaCam and Kaba to develop the manufacturing of tomorrow. In cooperation with partners like the Fraunhofer Institute, HP and Smart Factory, the SAP researchers are testing the latest technologies. Not science fiction, but realistic topics straight from the factory. What is different here? All ideas are implemented and tested under real-life conditions. For example, quality control of thermometers. Today, this has to be checked and adjusted manually. In future, it could be done much more easily. When I press that button, the reading gets into the system, gets validated. It's according to the expected value. As soon as I confirm the process, the actual data gets posted back into the system. The Future Factory Initiative is active in three areas. First, the Future Factory Lab to develop, test, and demonstrate new solutions. Second, a distributed manufacturing scenario to validate these solutions in a real-world setting. And third, the center of excellence, an open environment to discuss new ideas with customers, partners, and colleagues. In Daniela's kitchen, turning knob and dishwasher have been fixed in less than 24 hours. This is not the end of the future vision, however. Soon, every copy shop could build such spare parts with a 3D printer. A short walk and Daniela's involuntary career as a dishwasher will be over in no time.